welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another <laughs> epic empties. And this is not all of them because they started falling out of my basket. So it is crazy. I don't know how I go through these products like this and I don't even really know what's all in here, but we are going to talk about them all and I'm going to tell you what my thoughts are. So let's get started. Okay, so what I'm going to start with first is fragrance. Now, um, I don't have like a full size fragrance, but I tend to use the little sample sizes that are sent to me. That's how I discover if I like a scent or not. And I actually have five of them, so I'm going to talk about each one of them now. The first one that I have is Bond Number no. 9 Sutton Place. Now, this is a men's cologne. I did not use this, but I did put it on Finley's tail when he was smelling rather rank. And whenever he would swish his tail around, it made my house smell good. If you have a man in your life and you are looking for a just really nice, um, kind of classic, manly scent, you should check this one out because it smells really nice. Next up, I have two by, Killian, by Killians of the Straight to Heaven. Y'all, this smells so good. This is definitely on my list of a scent that I would like to purchase to have in the full size. By Killian is very expensive, so I don't think I will be going out to purchase them. But it smells so good. It's kind of, it's, it's not floral. It's more of a musky, but it's kind of a lighter scent. I think it smells really nice and would be good for summer. I also have a sample of the Glossier U. I don't find that this scent lasts very long on me, so I definitely would not ever purchase it in the full size, but I have enjoyed the sample size of it. I have heard it described as a scent that just kind of smells like you yourself smelling better. I guess that's why it's called Glossier U. When I put on a fragrance, I kind of want to smell it, So, um, but yeah, I've enjoyed the sample size of it. And lastly, this is the Jo Malone English Oak and Hazelnut. I was shocked how much I liked this. It smelled wonderful. Um, I'm ve not very good at describing like the notes of scents, so I'm not going to go into detail. You can look those up. But yeah, this was one. I like more muskier scents. I'm not real big into florals. I like more unisex scents, and I found that this one was great. Um, I would consider purchasing it, but I don't really need any more fragrances right now, so I'm not running out to purchase it just yet. Moving into hair care, I have one hair care product, and this is the L'Oreal LV Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. I was sent this by Influencer and I love, love, love this stuff. I will definitely be repurchasing, repurchasing it. I just currently have another mask that I am working through. Um, but I enjoy putting a mask on my hair more so as a conditioner. I don't really leave it on for a long period of time just while I'm in the shower. But I found that this really helped my dry, damaged hair. My hair is color treated. My hair is very dry anyway. And I need something like this, especially when I'm using something like the Christoph Robin um, scrub, scalp scrub. I find following up with a balm like this really works well. And I did enjoy using this. Next, moving into body care, I have one deodorant. This is the Dove Clinical Protection in the scent Original Clean. I have moved on to my new favorite scent, which is the Skin Renewal scent. Love that, but this is just a deodorant that I will always go back for. Um, I'm a sweater. It's about to be super hot here where I live, and um, so I'm always having to wear clinical strength deodorant or by Donna Karen ca cashmere mist deodorant, but Dove just really always never lets me down when it comes to deodorant. Next is the Paula's Choice Resist Skin Revealing Lotion. This is the, as you can see, I totally massacred this. This is their AHA lotion. Um, it's an exfoliating lotion. I love this stuff. I already have a backup. Ooh. I love this stuff. I, will, I already have a backup. I will continue to repurchase it. I try to get it when Derm Store is having a sale or when Paula is having a 20% off. If you are looking for a good lotion, and I talked about this in my body product video, um, I think that you don't need to stop your anti-aging just on your face. You need to do an use anti-aging products on your body as well. And what I mean by that is an exfoliating lotion. This one is a great one. It doesn't break the bank. It comes in around 20 something dollars. I like the packaging. And as you can see, I have destructed it, completely dissected it, torn it apart to get out every last bit. And this is probably like the third or fourth one I've used and I have a backup I'm currently using. Next up, something that is literally in all of my empties is my Saint Tropez Gradual Tan Classic Mousse. I love this stuff. It is dummy proof. It is, to me, the best self tanner. You use it. I don't use it daily. I use it every couple of days. I will probably start using it a little more regularly now that we're getting into the warmer months. 
but um, you just I put it on a mitt I slap it on I it doesn't shriek it doesn't smell like self self tanner and it really gives you a nice glow that is buildable um, I have not tried anything else by well I've tried their just regular self tan by Saint Tropez if I'm gonna use a regular self tanner it's not the Saint Tropez one I like the loving tan one but this is great um, I was turned on to this about a year and a half ago by Nadine Baggett she has beautiful skin I love watching her on YouTube and I have been using this ever since and I probably go through this way too fast but it is wonderful so try to pick it up when there's a sale I stocked up on it around Black Friday when they had a great offer I think it was like 40% off so I got a lot of them and I'm just now having to repurchase but I have a cabinet full of this stuff next up is a body wash this is the Walmart brand Equate and it is compared to the Dove deep moisturizing body wash I like keeping the ones with the pump in my shower I have not repurchased this actual one but I have repurchased the Olay one um, I like the Dove one. I like the Olay one better. Um, but this is one that I would interchange back and forth. It doesn't break the bank because it's the Walmart formula and it's a good solid body wash. Next up is a hand wash. As I've told you before, um, I am a big hand washer and I like for the hand washing to be an enjoyable event. So I like nice hand soap. And the one that I've been using in my back bathroom is the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Okay, it, this bottle kind of looks like it's been deformed because I had it sitting in front of a heater not a good plan but it caused it to deform a little bit I have already repurchased this I love the scent this is my favorite Jo Malone scent as you can see my next empty is the Jo Malone wood sage and sea salt body cream love 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 this stuff so I was trying to decide if I wanted to repurchase this or not I don't necessarily love the cream I love the scent so what I decided to do instead was buy a larger size of the wood sage and sea salt cologne that way I can use whatever kind of body lotion I want even if it's like an exfoliating one and then just miss my body before bed with this cologne so I smell like I've used this but I've used a lotion that really helps my skin so I would not recommend going out and purchasing their body cream because it's not real thick I don't really feel like it does anything for my body except for the fact that it makes me smell good but love this don't really love this but I love the scent great scent so I've recently discovered Lalabo and gotten into Lalabo. So when I ordered my Lalabo scent, they sent me a body cream and a shower gel. And y'all, this stuff smelled so good and felt so good on the skin. It's very pricey, so I haven't gone out to purchase it. I'm not really big on these scented lotions because like I said just a minute ago, I don't really feel like they do anything for my skin. And when I put lotion on, I want it to do something. So I like the scent, don't really care about how it does, but the, the shower gel was lovely. I would consider purchasing that not running out to, to purchase either one then moving on to makeup I have a boy brow by Glossier I love this this is probably one of my favorite brow products because I don't even need a pencil when I use this I can just slap this on and my brows are good to go um, I have already repurchased it I don't have it yet it's on its way because I was kind of shocked when this just ran out I wasn't expecting it for some reason but um, this is a great product I will definitely continue to repurchase I have two eyelash primers one is a high-end one is a drugstore I think the drugstore is better out of these two one is the Lancome one this is a deluxe sample size I don't think it's that great um, I just don't but the L'Oreal Voluminous Base is wonderful. If you were looking for an eyelash primer and you don't want to break the bank, I would highly recommend checking that one out. I have one mascara, the Chanel Le Volume de Chanel. Le Volume de Mascara, Le Volume de Chanel Mascara. I'm not sure, but y'all get the idea. This is a great mascara. This is probably my third or fourth tube of it. I will repurchase it. I believe Nordstrom's will be having their mascara event, I think sometime the first part of May. Um, this is definitely on my list. I may pick up two uh, of the three that I need to get, but this is a wonderful mascara, probably definitely in my top two favorites of all-time mascara. may actually be my all-time favorite. Beauty Blender. This is a Beauty Blender. Like I've said before, I use a Beauty Blender daily. When they start to kind of come apart or tear, I decide it's time for a new one. This one is needing to go, but if you have not used a Beauty Blender, I would highly recommend checking it out. It is how I apply my foundation daily. I, use, I like it better than a brush. I've tried other sponges. I have not found any that compare to this. I would highly recommend trying this. Two other products that appear in most all my empties are my Essence Nail Polish. 
I guess you would say this is kind of like the must-have duo when I do my nails. I do my own nails and I'm rather hard on them, but I have found that the Essence, the gel top coat, is the best top coat on the market. I have turned so many people onto this. This was just kind of a random discovery. It comes in around $4, but a lot of the times Ulta runs specials where you can get buy one, get one half, so it's really a great deal. Another thing I discovered when I was trying to buy one, get one half is their Nail Art Express Dry Drops. Now. This is a game changer for me because I put this on my nails and I'm not kidding. In 60 seconds, they are dry and ready to go and they do not smudge. It is so wonderful. The problem is, is the Ulta is no longer carrying this. I can't find it online and I can't find it in the store. But Essence is super easy to order from. I think you spend $20 or $25 and you get free shipping, which is actually better than Ulta. So I would highly recommend ordering these products um, from Ulta. I mean, not from Ulta, from Essence. And I would highly recommend if you are doing your own nails, try this out because it is absolutely wonderful. And they have really changed my nail game tremendously since I've discovered these two products. Next up in makeup is an illuminator, and this is the Giorgio Armani Light Master Makeup Primer. Okay, so it says it's a primer. I've never used this as a primer. I use this to mix in my foundation to give me some illuminosity. I loved this. I thought it was great. It kind of had a pinky beige color. However, there are so many more on the market. Becca has one that's really nice. Um, I'm currently using one that is by Marc Jacobs, which I really like. So I'm not running out to repurchase this because I think this is probably one of the more expensive ones on the market. I enjoyed using it. It was great. But for the price, I think you can get better bang for your buck. As as far as makeup goes, I have four foundations. Yes, four. Is that not crazy? I went through three of them, and then one of them I just decided it wasn't for me. And I'm going to start with that one. So this was definitely a YouTube made me do it. So many YouTubers consider this foundation their holy grail foundation and the best foundation on the market. And I think this is a good example to show that what works for one person may not work for everyone. I really tried to love this foundation. I used it a lot. I used it by itself. I mixed it with other foundations and for me it just did not work and what why it didn't work I would find that it would always just set in the lines around my mouth now the lines around my mouth are not that pronounced but I do have what I call smoker lines I've never smoked I did until about a year ago drink out of a straw pretty regularly but I don't even do that anymore um, my plastic surgeon said that it's genetic and so I think that I just got some bad genes and that's the reason I have the lines. But the foundation that I am talking about is the Dior Skin Forever Foundation. Okay, this foundation, so many people love it. And if you're one of those that love it, I'm glad you love it. It's just for me, it did not work. So I am going to be passing this one on. My mom wants to try it. So I'm going to be passing it on to her and we will see how it works for her. Next up was another foundation that I did not like, and it is the Power Fat Fabric Giorgio Armani Foundation. Now, however, I used every last drop of this, and the reason being is because it was so incredibly expensive. First and foremost, I had this in the color 5, and it did not work for me. It was way too light for me. So what I found myself doing was mixing this with foundations that were too dark. I loved this as a mixer. It mixed great with other foundations. My favorite way to, to wear this was to mix it with the Luminous Silk Foundation um, because I can't seem to find my right color in the Luminous Silk. Everything is either too red or too deep. Um, and so I used this mainly mixing it with that foundation. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do my Luminous Silk now that I don't have this to mix with, but I most certainly would not be repurchasing this foundation. Another foundation that was not the correct color for me, but I mixed it a lot with other foundations is the NARS and this is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. This foundation really surprised me because while it was very weightless, you got a pretty good payoff as far as coverage was concerned. I had it in the shade 6. I think if I went a couple of shades darker, I would probably like it, but I'm not running out to repurchase it because I have other foundations that I want to try. My last foundation is one of my absolute holy grail favorite foundations of all time and it is the YSL Tu Chocolat foundation and I have it in B50 Honey. I love this foundation. I love to wear it alone. I like to mix it with other foundations. 
it is just a wonderful high-end foundation. It is probably one of my absolute favorite ones. I did not run out and repurchase it because I'm replacing some of these with some other ones that I've been wanting to try out or ones that I've tried and I know I love and I kind of want them back in my rotation. So, but this definitely will stay on my list as one of my favorites and I can definitely see myself purchasing it again in the future. Now, all we have left is skincare and y'all I'm not gonna lie I have a lot of it so I'm gonna try to get through it pretty fast first up is the Clarins extra comfort anti-pollution cleansing cream y'all this stuff is really really good except for the fact that and this is for a first cleanse this is like a cleansing cream to take off your makeup except for the fact that I just don't love a cleansing cream to take off my makeup I'm not gonna lie when I take off my makeup I want to use an oil or a balm that's just what I want to do. I find it destroys my eye makeup better. It is like a one-stop shop to get everything off. And I just felt like this really didn't do it. So what I did mainly with this is I would mix it with a little bit of oil to really be able to loosen up my eye makeup, but I would not repurchase this product. Staying with cleansers, my Origins, and this was sent to me by Origins. This is the original skin uh, re cleansing makeup removing jelly. And I'm having to look at it because I have just dissected this. I loved this so much. This is what I'm talking about. This is what gets your makeup off. It was a gel. It was a balmy gel. It was in this squeeze tube, which was great for travel. I just absolutely loved it. I was sent this by Origins. Thank you so much, Origins, for sending it to me. I would definitely repurchase this, and I would recommend it to others who are looking for something to destroy your makeup. Next on destroying your makeup, the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm by Pharmacy. One of my all-time cleansing balms and one of the few balms that I like to use in the summertime because it has kind of like a green sherbet type um it just reminds me of green sherbet. It's the texture is lighter than most balms, but it kills your makeup. And I think it is wonderful. I probably will pick up another one of these during the Sephora sale coming up. So I will have this on hand for the summer. So I was watching one of my um, good friend Amber's videos, one of her empties, and she had featured the Pixie Plus Caroline Hirons Cleansing Balm. And she had said that she had opened hers and left it sitting there and it went bad. And I remembered that I had a brand new one of these that had been sitting in my cabinet for some months and I probably needed to use it. So I started using it and at first I was like, okay, it's okay. And then I started noticing it had kind of a weird scent to it. So I stopped using it. So this isn't an actual complete empties, but I think that this product went bad on me and it was only my fault. I shouldn't have let it sit as long as I did. But yeah, so I was sad about that. This is a great cleansing option. Um, it has the balm on one side to destroy your makeup and then the second cleanse option on the other side. I think it's wonderful. I would continue to repurchase it. The price point is really great and it's just a really good product. Another Pixie product that I ran out of and I already have a backup and I just used it as recently as last night is the Glow Tonic by Pixie. This is one of my favorite acid exfoliators. It is not harsh. It's great for people with sensitive skin. The second ingredient is aloe. It's a 5% glycolic acid. My skin loves this. I will continue to repurchase this. I have the ginormous size with the pump that I'm currently using and I have a travel size in my travel bag. This is going to be always be a product that is going to be in my skincare lineup. Another product that's always going to be in my skincare lineup is the SK2. This was a deluxe sample size that I used up and I have repurchased the larger size. I love this stuff. I think that it does so much for your skin. It makes my skin look toned. It makes my skin look brighter, look hydrated, and it just feels good. Now, the way you use this, it is an essence. You put it in your hand, put your hands together, pat it on your face. I see some people putting it on cotton and I want to scream. Do not waste that product. This product is too expensive. Do not waste it like that. Put it in the palm of your hands. It's a little weird at first, but then you get used to it and you probably will find like me that you enjoy using it like that. Great product, pricey, but if you can afford it, get your hands on it. It really is one of those products that does what it says it's going to do and it works. I don't mind spending a lot of pro pro I don't mind spending money for products that actually do what they say they're going to do. A couple of very small sample size. I have the Charlotte's Magic Cream. I have used a bigger size of this. It's one of my favorite um, kind of morning um, moisturizers. It has SPF in it. Your makeup sits great on top of it. It's better for me in the winter, so I kind of miss my window of having a larger size of this. But it is a product that I think is great, especially if you have dry skin and you want your makeup to have like that flawless look. 
And then I had a, I think this is by Coors. Yeah, Coors. It is the Greek Yogurt Foaming Cream Cleanser. I enjoyed this. I was kind of shocked that I liked it because I usually don't like anything that has the word foaming in it, but it definitely was not very foaming and it was a nice cleanser. I have two lip balms. The first is the Creme de Rose by Dior. This is just a luxurious, gorgeous lip balm. It has a great rose scent and it is actually on my list to be repurchased during the Sephora sale. Another lip balm that I have already repurchased and I'm currently using the new one is the Sarah Hat Lip Slip. It is not as expensive as some other lip balms, but, and you get a lot of product and it just feels great on your lips and your lips look really good. It kind of gives your lips a nice sheen to it. So I really enjoyed this lip balm as well. So next up are deluxe sample sizes and I have two Caudalie products. The first one is the Vino Perfect overnight renewal cream. I enjoyed this. I'm a big fan of Caudalie. I think it's great, especially if you have sensitive skin. It's just, it's nice. It's not over offensive. It smells good, but it's not too scented and it's just a great product. So I enjoyed using this. Um, I also have a Vine Active Serum. Um, this was a nice serum. I didn't really notice that it did anything outstanding to my skin, but I enjoyed using it. It felt nice on the skin. I wouldn't go out and purchase it. Another product that I liked was the Kate Somerville 2-in-1 Plumping Moisturizer Plus Serum and it is the Wrinkle Warrior. Um, this was nice. I really didn't use it all over my face. I just focused it kind of in my eye area and around my mouth where I have lines. This was nice. I don't really know um, if I would go out and purchase the full size. I'm not sure I was wowed by it, but it was nice. And if I got another one, I would like to kind of explore it a little more to see exactly how I feel about this product. Next is the Marcel 3-in-1 Micellar Gel Eye Makeup Remover. This was strange. I'm not going to lie. It was a gel-like formula. I put it on a cotton swab to take off my eye makeup, and it was just kind of weird that it was a gel. Got my eye makeup off. It did what it was supposed to do, but I would not go out and purchase it. I have two deluxe sample size from Biolash Research. Um, both of them are moisturizers. One of them is the Cream Aminos Revitalizing Face Cream, and the other one is Cream Hydra Vits. Both are great moisturizers. I have not checked to see how much either one of them are. I'm not running out to purchase it. I did not love the scent really on either one of them, but um, you're not really paying for that when you go with this brand. This brand is just a solid um, skincare brand. Um, I know a lot of people love, love, love this brand. I don't really love it that much. I love P50. I will continue to purchase P50, but that's kind of really all from the brand. But I am going to use up any of the um, sample sizes that I have because they are solid, good products. Next up, a moisturizer that I have used a full size of a few times. This is the Lemire Moisturizing Cream. It is a great cream, especially in the wintertime. Um, it's heavy. It does contain mineral oil. So if you have a problem with mineral oil, you should steer clear. Um, I'm not going out to purchase it because I have other... If I'm going to spend, and I've said this before, if I'm going to spend a lot of money on a moisturizer, I'm purchasing the Kate Somerville Deep Tissue Repair. To me, it's the best, best, best rich nighttime moisturizer on the market. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion. Um, but I will continue to use up these samples when they give them to me. So yeah, this is a great moisturizer, but as far as I'm concerned, if I'm going to spend that amount of money, I'm not purchasing this one. Also had an Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Cream. This is a great cream as well, but similar the way I feel about it, I'm going to use my Kate Somerville Deep Tissue Repair product is something I really, really enjoyed. This is the Balance Me Tinted Wonder Eye Cream. So it is an eye cream that you use, well, you can use it day or night, but it's tinted. So it kind of has like a concealing type look. It's not as thick as a concealer by any means, but it is tinted. I enjoyed this. Um, I would definitely consider purchasing the full size. I thought it was great. It did what it was supposed to do and makeup set well on top of it. And it kind of gives you like your first layer of covering up any kind of imperfections you want to cover up. We're getting to the end. Lastly, I have some sheet masks. The first one is the Dr. Jart Vital Hydra Solution. This is in all my empties. I love a good sheet mask. This is one of my favorites. The other one of my favorites is the Donkey Milk Skin Gel Mask. And this is the Aqua one. I have three of these. Again, this is probably like my second favorite sheet mask. These are the ones, kind of my, my go-to ones that I use on the regular. But yeah, y'all, this is the empty. Sorry it was so long. It was intense. I am going to try my hardest not for them not to be that long. I just, this one kind of got out of hand really quick. Um, if you have any questions about any of the products, please list them down below. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and introducing yourself. So I hope this video, as always, finds you having a fantastic day and a great week, and I will see you all soon. Bye, y'all.